against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalogue of human crime that is our policy. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, victory. Victory at all costs. Victory despite all terror. Victory, whether long and hard the road may be, for without victory, there is no survival. The Battle of France is over, and the Battle of Britain is about to begin. Soon the whole fury and might of the enemy will be turned upon us. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many long months of struggle and of suffering. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight on the seas and the oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and with growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Upon this battle depends the future of all civilization. Upon it depends our own British life and all that Britain is and all that Britain means. Hitler knows that he will have to break us in this island or lose the war. If we can stand up to him, then all of Europe may be free and the world can move forward into a broad, sunny uplands. But if we fail, then the whole world, including the United States, including all that we have known and cared for, will sink into the abyss of a new dark age, made more sinister uh, and more protracted by the lights of perverted science. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties and so bear ourselves the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years. Men will still say, this was their finest hour. Advance Britannia, long live the cause of freedom, and God bless you all. Thank you.